Ooh la 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 la. All right, YouTube, I am back giving you guys one more for the road. So I did one of these a long time ago, super, super, super long time ago. I can never tell where the fucking camera is. Um, like in 2017 with my good pal. But I'm going to do one of these again. I'm going to answer a string of questions since I don't really have any subscribers. But, you know, this would be a great video for you to get into my um <laughs> charming personality. All right, so these are called 116 Awesome YouTube Tag Questions. And then it kind of cuts off on the tab thing. So, <gasps> am I up for it? You know it. Hmm. Question one, are you hot? I will have you know that the last time I checked, I was a solid 98.6. Are you rich? Yes, rich in despair. Are you in love? Not at the moment, no. <clears throat> ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, a little slimy that one. Oh. Do you like coffee? Yes, I do. I love black coffee. Your dream vacation? I don't take vacation. Who do you truly love? They know who they are. Last movie you watched, it was either The Joker or Adam's Family. One of the two. What sport do you play? Hmm. Is, uh... Is, uh, what do you call it? Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo a sport? No? Hmm. I'm not very athletic. I don't play any sports. What are you eating now while well, I'm not eating? How is your best friend? They're all right. What novels do you read? I read good novels. I read a lot of Russian novels. You know, I love the whole romantic era. That was pretty good stuff. I like a lot of postmodern novels as well. A lot of postmodern. Anything by Philip K. Dick, very good. You know, um, oh God, what's his name? Kurt Vonnegut. Great. Thomas Pynchon. Love reading, you guys. I just love reading. What is your favorite pet? <laughs> what? Uh, um, mm, it's a toss between cats and dogs. I mean, sorry to all you iguana lovers out there, but... Where is your best friend? They are on Earth. What TV shows do you like? See, I don't really watch TV that much anymore, but I do have... A thing on my, uh, like a portable hard drive where I have all these shows that I cycle, right? So I watch Frasier. Frasier is my all-time favorite show. So Frasier, there's Frasier, Married with Children, there's King of the Hill, there's Futurama. Um, there's a lot of 90s cartoons from, you know, like Nickelodeon and all that. I really do enjoy those. I like the X-Files, but as for TV, TV, I really, was never my thing. I like situational comedies from the 90s. And that's about, well, Hot in Cleveland. Loved Hot in Cleveland, like Bob's Burgers, Archer, but other than that, I really don't watch them at all. Okay, uh, what are you watching now? The most handsome man in the world asking questions, answering questions on YouTube. Something like that. That fucking failed horribly. Now I'm watching myself fail, just like real life. Okay, well, this is real life, you fucking dumbass. Uh, what do you put on your bed? Well, my body, usually, pillows, sheets. My base is a lot. Food all the time. I leave food on my all the time. I could just live in fucking squalor. Oh, uh, what's the name of your pet? Well, she goes by many names. Jet, Velvet, Vaughn, Hell of Scream, Velvet, Vaughn, Black, Marilyn, Prick. Um, a lot of other ones. But mainly just puss. Okay. Like, boo! Eh, fucking bitch. Um. The size of your bed. It's a queen size bed. What are you listening to now? Well, the sound of my own voice and all the voices in my head. It's like a ambient audience kind of thing, you know. Sort of like a white noise thing. Uh, and they never shut the fuck up. Um, what is your favorite subject? Probably would have to go with history. Worst injury you've ever had. I'm not, you know, as weird and lanky and whatever as I am. I don't really, I have not suffered any, you know, terrible injuries. Um... What were you doing three hours ago? Masturbating. Are you wearing pants right now? Unfortunately, I am. 
What are your plans for tonight? I'm going to finish this up, probably watch Frasier and cry myself to sleep. When do you usually go to sleep? Three in the morning. When did you last go on vacation? I don't take vacations. When did you last go for shopping? You know, these aren't really worded very well. Um, when did I, I want to say last Wednesday. Okay, have you watched any movies this week? Nope. Do you miss anyone or anything right now? I miss Frasier. I mean, like 15 years. 15 fucking years without Frasier. I do miss that. Who is the last person you chat with on Facebook? My good pile. Okay, the next one. Look at this. If you want to make your subscribers happy, keep them on your video, you must answer some funny YouTube tag questions. Here are examples of funny YouTube tag Let's Let's try and answer some, shall we? <laughs> wet your bed? Yeah, of course I wet my bed. I haven't wet my bed in a long time, though. Although I do have a recurring dream where I do wet my bed and there's like a transvestite hooker in it. Whatever. Beer, wine. I don't drink. I'm an alcoholic. Ten months sober. Thank you very much. Are you drunk? No. Feeling sleepy? No. Are you a flirt? Am I a flirt? No. No. My flirting is I go up to a girl and go, intercourse! I'm not a flirt. I'm not a flirt whatsoever. Talk to animals all the time. Are you hungry? Does that look like I'm fucking hungry? Um, do you have a stalker? No, I wish. You know, they, um, no one wants to stalk me. Because I'm, like, the person that's really needy in life. And I feel like if I had a stalker, I'd be like, where are you? Why aren't you stalking me, like, right now? Like, what are you doing? Who's that? Who are you stalking? Stalking someone else? Like, I'd probably stalk my stalker, so no. <sighs> can you fart in public? Anyone can fart in public. Should be, can you fart in public and get away with it? Ever peed in the woods? Yes. Are you always impatient? Well, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? You don't even know me. Not always. Do you cry in sad movies? No. Would you marry a celebrity? I'm not open to the idea of marriage. I mean, what would they get out of it? Like, no. Do you dance or sing in the car? Yeah, definitely. I waltz in the car all the time. Dancing in the car? <sighs> Ever stolen a street sign before? No. Do you sing or dance in the shower? Mm, not as often as I'd like to. Have you ever forgotten your birthday? Um, no, I try to, but there's always people there to remind me. Do you ask or answer stupid questions? You know what, people? I will tell you the stupidest question in the history of questions. And this question really pisses me off when someone says can i ask you a question it's like you just ask me a fucking question um how long can you stay without bathing that's a good question that's a good question i don't really know well no i don't really know how long can you um would you give all your money to charity yes i totally would do you enjoy watching cartoons or anime i do enjoy watching cartoons not so much anime you know, I know a couple of them, but I wasn't ever really super into anime. I know Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super. Um, I know Bleach for a while, One Piece, you know, all the hardcore anime people are like, nee, 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 but not really, it's not my thing. Have you ever laughed at the wrong moment? When is there a right moment to laugh? Because I laugh at every fucking thing. All places you have piercings on your body, none. None. This is a Rolls Royce. You don't put stupid shit on that like that. Can you spend all your money on something stupid? Does a wife count? Does a girlfriend count? Because that's the whole heterosexual population. Um, both ways, though. You know. Would you drop your phone after you just bought it? I've never dropped my phone in that way before. Uh, do you always smile for the camera when taking pictures? Hell no. What did you dress up for Halloween as you were for Halloween when you were a kid? Well, the, my earliest memory, I think I was Simba once. I was Darth Vader. I was Darth Maul. I was V, or V for Vendetta, but that was like 14 years old. Um, uh, what else did I... I Scorpion, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. That was like 2004. Leatherface. Um... That's about it. I don't really remember the rest of them. Personal YouTube tag questions. All right, here we go. Here we go. 
Are you lazy? Who wants to know? Favorite movie? My favorite movie is the 1972 masterpiece Cries and Whispers by Ingmar Bergman, my favorite director. He's in my top five favorite director. Oh my god, I loved that movie the first time I saw that movie. Like, I bought it, Barnes Noble, Criterion Collection, whatever. I watched it. I felt so violated that I had to keep watching it. I watched it like 13 times that week. I mean, truly a great, horrible time, but great. I was watching that movie. That was amazing. Are you dating? No. Are you married? No. Can you see the smile on my face? Favorite scents? I don't really have any. Tahitian vanilla. I don't know if that is. How old are you? How old do I look? How old do I feel? I'm 26, I guess, you know. Are you in debt? Dead of the mind. Do you have kids? Hell no. Summer or winter? Hmm. I don't go out during either, so... Uh, I guess summer? Do you use drugs? Not anymore. Well, I'm on antidepressants and mood stabilizers, so technically I use drugs that are prescribed to me. Oh, and I'm on an, uh, something for attention deficit disorder. But no, I don't uh, use drugs recreationally, or for recreation. I mean, there was some dabbling, but no. Ever fallen in love? I've fallen in love with people I haven't, I shouldn't have fallen in love with, yes. What's your religion? Don't have one. Do you have siblings? Yes, I do. How much do you earn? Not enough. When did you last cry? Whenever the camera's not rolling, really. It's your eye color. It's like a dark brown. It's like a super dark brown. <sighs> what are your hobbies? Hmm, what are my hobbies? Well, I enjoy reading. I enjoy doing makeup. I enjoy playing bass guitar. I enjoy playing um, regular guitar. Uh, let's see, that's not, um, video games sometimes, you know, some fun stuff over there with that. Let me check the time on that. Oh, that's fine. <clears throat> computer or television? Computer. Because computer gets porn. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, do you like joking a lot? Well, I used to, but, you know, people think I do it too much and it's like becoming overdone and I guess I won't joke anymore. Are you named after anyone? Yeah, I'm named after Stalin. Actually, no, that's not true. That's what I tell people, but, you know, what do I... Do you want to get married? No. What do people like you for? People don't like me. Believe me, people don't like me. I am outspoken. I mean, I'm savage. People don't like me. Do you have special talents? Calling people out on their bullshit. What is your favorite cereal? Mmm, Fruit Loops or Captain Crunch? Fruit Loops or Captain Crunch? Fruit Loops or Captain Crunch? Frosted Flakes. Uh, what are your plans for the future? I have no fucking idea. How long can you stick in a relationship? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Depends on how long she'll let me stick it. Anyway. <laughs> but once the sticking is done, then I should, I'm out of the relationship. No, I, not very long. My longest one was three years. Oh, God. Three years in the service. Um, my computer is flipping out now. What's going on over here? Okay. What do you want to be when you grow up? I have no idea. Uh, what is the first thing you instantly notice about people? How they're trying to conceal their true nature and it's all just a facade. Nine times out of ten, I can just spot someone like, yeah, that person's fake as shit. I'm not hanging out with them. How many people have, have you slept with over the last month? Zero. Deep YouTube questions. All right, now we're getting some deep YouTube questions. Oh. Does love equal to sex? Look at me doing this weird yoga position here. Uh, does love equal to sex? Hmm. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. What is love? Oh, 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 we were together, that means you forever, don't hurt me, no more, um, love, uh, e does love equal to sex, no, 
It does not equal to sex. Sex is, for all intents and purposes, the reproductive act passing down our genes from you know one generation to another, and that whole process. A lot of people get sex and love confused about this whole intimate thing. One really doesn't know what love is. Love is just technically a concept, right? I mean, do you think you're old-fashioned love with heartbreaks or no love at all? Is sex an option? Um, where's the sex come on that one? Which one do you prefer, trust or love, and why? Hmm, that's, that's a good question. Trust or love? I do enjoy loyalty, and that would come from a high degree of trust. I mean, trust would come from a high degree of loyalty. Uh, I'm going to go with trust. Because, you know, how can you trust someone? How can you love someone that you don't trust? That's a stupid question right there, because people do it all the time. They love people that they shouldn't trust. So, trust. Uh, would you save the life of a homeless person? Why or why not? Ooh. See, that's a... That's a good... That's a good question. I know, I'm a total dick for not just answering, saying the altruistic, oh my god, I totally save a ho homeless person. But the same, by the same extent, like... The way my mind works is like, okay, I saved this homeless person, but what if this homeless person goes on to do something like really horrible? You know, you never know people and you don't have an affirmative obligation to save someone, not at least not where I live. Um, so I'm going to go with no, because it could lead to a ripple effect that could destroy the entire world. If you could wish anything or do anything, what would it be? Hmm. A lot of people would say money. A lot of people would say fame. A lot of people would say world peace. <sighs> There's some other stupid material shit. But if I could wish one thing. Hmm. I'm stumped. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. You answer in the comments what you think I should wish for. I wish for more wishes? Is that something? Are you the type of friend you would like to have with a friend? Hell the fuck no. Is money the real source of happiness? What makes you happy? Happiness is the most insidious prison of all. What is happiness? Do people really want to be happy? Or do people want to be seen as being happy, but secretly suffering? What is true happiness? What makes me happy? Oh, I enjoy a good porno. I enjoy pizza from Polly's in San Diego. I know, I said it, oh my God, hypocrite. Oh, the person that condemns San Diego all the time. That is the one redeeming factor about San Diego Polly's Pizza, the greatest fucking pizza I've ever had in my entire fucking life. Oh my god. Diet Coke makes me happy. Makeup makes me happy. Bass makes me happy. Music makes me happy. All the fantasies in my head, they make me happy. But, you know, they don't really laugh. Is money the real source of happiness? No, but money is the real source of security. So... You know, even if you're not material, even if you're not like me, who's not materialistic, you know, you do need some form of security. I sort of practice the whole asceticism thing that uh, Miyamoto Musashi did. Are you always nice to people and you expect something from return? Now, see, now we're coming into another conundrum here. Only being nice to someone because you're expecting something in return. Fucking hate that shit. When people do something nice, but then they're all expecting, oh, well, since I did that for you. No. The point of being nice is just being nice just to be nice. Just like being evil of, you know, being a nihilistic whatever just to like kill someone just because you could, you know, whatever. So that's fucked on so many levels. 
so I'm just either I'm nice or I'm not nice. Ten times, nine times out of ten, I'm usually not nice. But to those closest to me, I'm very nice. But I'm not a trusting person. I'm not a very, you know, I'm a tough cookie, as one of my coworkers said. Would you prefer to be hurt by someone you love most or by someone you trust most? I'm going to go with love most because I like the abuse. What is probably the hardest thing to lose in your case? Why is it hard to give up? I don't know. I'm the kind of person that could just shave my head and give up everything right now. I don't fucking care. Uh, remember the last time when you were furious? What made you that angry? Do you feel different? The last time I was super angry. I don't know. I kind of just hold it all in and then like super erupt and then I don't remember any of it. Imagine you're alone at home, lonely and bored. Who would you like, wish to be together with? I'm home and alone. I'm lonely and bored. Who would I like or wish to be together with? Well, <laughs> Ah, I think those who know me best know the real answer, but since those don't, I'll just say, I'm going to say Katie Cummings, Larkin Love, Amelia Onyx. Oh. Uh, uh, um, hmm. Katie Cummings, just Katie Cummings, fuck it. Katie Cummings. Apart from romantic love, when did you last tell someone that you loved them? What? Did they mean to you? Next. If there is if there is one time or one moment in the last year or month that you would change, what moment would it be? Why? There's a certain message that I did send out earlier this year. And I usually am the no regret sort of person. And I'm so happy I did do it. But if there's anything I could change, I might have warded it just... Tiny bit differently. If you are to give your money to charity, who will you donate it to? Homeless people organization or a children's home? Mm. See, actually, I wouldn't to either. Because if I had money to give to charity, I would really like to give money to those people in Georgia so they can finally do the renovations on the Stalin Museum because, you know, that's suffering and we, I don't want to see that disappear. I'd like to go there in my life, you know? So I'd give it to the Stalin Museum. You are to save your family member or your lover from drowning in an ocean. Who do you leave to drown to their death and why? Mm. So do I save my family member or my right hand from drowning in an ocean? I'm going to go with family member. When did you last honestly reveal your feelings to someone else, no matter how hard it was to tell? Who was it? What did you tell a person? Well, this kind of goes back to that message I wish I could have changed. But that person should remain anonymous because I've probably already made that person's life hell. Uh, not that I intended to. You know, from my heart and from my hand, why do people never understand my intentions? Um... What is harder for you, facing someone when telling him her the way you feel or facing someone when he's telling you the way they feel? Probably the other one, because I don't mind telling people the way I, I feel. Your best friend just confesses to having feelings for you and wants you to be more than usual friends. He, she loves you. What will you do or say? Well, that actually happened to me once. And it was while I was driving her home, and... Um, and then, God, we didn't have an accident. I was listening to the Big Trouble in Little China soundtrack, and I was like, tuka, 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 tuka. and she's like, I definitely have feelings for me. I'm like, ah! All right, then. And then I dropped her off, and she probably went in to cry. I mean, but I wasn't into her, you know? Uh, picture the last dead person you know. You have a chance to bring them back to life for an hour, but you will lose one year of your life. Will you do it in life? Fuck yeah. But I don't know who I'd bring back. I'm probably my grandmother and her. You're in an emergency situation, for example, a burning building, you have a chance to make a single phone call. Who will you call? What will you tell them? Hmm. I would honestly probably call someone to tell them fuck you. Legit. 
You receive news from your doctor that your condition is worsening and you only have one week to live. Will you reveal to anyone or everyone you're about to die? What will you do in your last days? Will you be afraid? I am not afraid to die. You know, I look forward to dying. God, as cliche as it sounds, I'd probably go to the beach and listen to Hemispheres. I'd probably be on the swing just like in Ikaru, a great movie by Kuro Kurosawa. You know, just accepting it, because that's what people have to do. Heading to work, you encounter a situation that you need to help out. For instance, a cat is stuck on top of a tree. Your boss has threatened to fire you if you get late to work again. Do you risk saving the cat's life? Why or why not? Yeah, I'll save the cat's life. Your boss wants to sack your co-worker due to work sorted, and he or she just got the job recently. You've been working there much longer with a large family to support. Your co-worker has no other source of income. What will you approach your boss and request a quick job? Fuck no! My money is my money. It was there first. Super easy questions. Well, those were all the questions for the YouTube tag, so let me know what you think. Leave a comment below if you think I'm truly an irredeemable piece of shit. I know some of you will think that. Like if you think, hey, that guy's kind of kooky. All right. This has been Count Krukob with 116 awesome YouTube tag questions. Yeah.